How to publish Wix on Google. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, I'm gonna be quickly walking you through on how you can make a Wix website and then publish it on Google in the easiest and most simplest ways possible, okay? So to start things off, what we are gonna be doing is we're gonna come over to our Wix.com website. Okay, and uh, obviously you're gonna want to create an account. The account creation process is pretty simple, but I'm still gonna walk you through it because once you create an account, it asks you a few uh, setup questions that you're gonna want to obviously go through with. So to start off, we're gonna come to Wix.com over here. Okay, here's your basic Wix.com. You know, create a website without limits. You know, great for e-commerce, set anything up. Uh, it's your very own e-commerce engine. So to get started, you're going to click on get started. And once you do that, it brings you to the sign up section. So, so once you add in the necessary details, you're going to be brought over here. Okay. And once you're over here, here is going to give you things. Let's get started. Who are you creating a website for? So it's going to say for myself, my business or a friend for a client as a freelancer or an agency. So I'm going to go with myself, my business or a friend. Okay. And once we're here, we're going to click on next. And once you click on next, it's going to bring you here where it's going to say, bring your ideas to life with AI or artificial intelligence. Now, here you get two options. Okay, so either you can obviously start creating a Wix website using Wix's very own AI, or you can set it up without an AI. So for now, I'm going to go ahead with set up without AI. But if you want to use the AI, trust me, it works like a charm, and I would definitely urge you to use it. But apart from that, it brings us here where it says, what kind of website do you want to create? So in examples, we have things like online store, portfolio, blog, consultant, technology company, restaurant, event, etc., etc. So, you know, pretty basic stuff. So what we're going to want to do is we are simply going to come over to online store right now. Okay, I'm going to go with this. And once I come here. I'm just going to click on this, click on continue. And once you do that, it starts preparing your dashboard. Okay. So we're just uh, going to want to uh, wait for it to walk us through the creation and preparation of our dashboard. And once all of that is done, what we're going to do is it's going to bring us here. So this is basically, you know, your main homepage or dashboard where everything goes down, right? So what you're going to want to do in this space is obviously you can give your store a name or and uh, you can you know set things up i'm just going to skip all of this for now i don't really want to get into this question answering so i'm going to back out of this and once you back out of this you're going to stay in the actual wix dashboard now in this dashboard if you want to start designing a website for yourself what you're going to do is you're going to come here to design site okay now once you click on design site it's going to say how would you like to design your website so it says either let Wix create a site for you or you can customize a designed template and you can obviously choose from thousands of designs for your website. So I'm going to go with pick a template because it actually does give us thousands and thousands of designs that we can choose from and they're pretty incredible, pretty nice looking designs. OK, so once we're over here, you can see all these things going on. I'm going to come over here. Let's say I want this template. It looks pretty cool. looks pretty nice. So first of all, you can go ahead and actually view the template. You can see if it looks good. You can see if it actually matches the look. So let's say I'm going to check out its navigation. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. looks pretty good. The buttons, they light up. And look at that. So that looks pretty terrific. That looks pretty nice. Also, make sure to switch views and see if uh, things are good on the other retroband. And once all of that is good to go, once all of that is, uh, you know, acceptable, you can simply click on edit the site and you can actually, you know, get started with the editorial sequences. So once we're here, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to wait for it to load up. OK, and as it loads up, what we are going to want to do is we're going to want to make a blueprint in our mind of how we're actually going to be accessing these things for ourselves properly when we're actually publishing this onto Google's website. Okay, and also you're also going to want to make sure to make sure your website 
appears on Google's, you know, main page, you're going to want to make sure that first of all, it's on the Google search console. And apart from the Google search console, you're also going to make sure that it uh, also makes itself to appear on uh, the SEO list. Okay. And the SEO list is something that you can access through Wix's very own dashboard. Okay. So while this loads up, you know, I'm just uh, going to wait for this to roughly load things in. Now, obviously, as you can see, this is pretty well loaded up. As this is loading up, I'm also going to come here. Okay. It's going to bring us to sites. Now, obviously, I'm still yet to create a site. So let's say this is your site, right? Now, let's say I'm done with the editing of the site. I'm simply going to click on publish. Now you can either get a free domain, get a customized domain. I would recommend a customized domain, but obviously if you want to go with a free one for now, you can go that and go with that. And you're simply going to click on publish. So that makes your website live. Now your website is pretty much live. Okay. You're good to go with your website. So once your website is live and good to go, what you can do is you can actually work with your website's SEO. Okay. And to work with your website's SEO, as you can see, it says go to dashboard. So that is what we need to do. We're going to go over to our dashboard of this similar website. And you're going to get into this section where it says marketing and SEO. So obviously we have published it onto the internet. So it's off there on Google. Okay. Because once it's published, obviously people are going to start finding it. But to actually make it appear in the upper searches of Google, you're going to want to work with its SEO. SEO is basically your search engine optimization. And search engine optimization is extremely relevant and extremely useful. So you're obviously going to come here. You're going to connect it to your Google Search Console for better working. And you need to go through all of these things, you know, SEO setup checklist, site inspection, and obviously it shows you issues, completed tasks. But the most important one is to go to SEO setup checklist, you know, improve your site performance on Google. So I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me I am always available and I will give you the easiest step to step guides for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.